Great. So the offering word, I cannot keep myself back. I need to. This is going to bless you. So we are on a journey with the book, uh, Financial Stewardship, from Andrew Womack. If you have missed some of them, go and look at them on YouTube. They are awesome. But about two weeks ago, the Lord said, let's just pause a bit. And then we looked at, I asked God, what is on his heart about church and money? And we had that awesome service about love. And Isaac had the one about 1 Corinthians 13. And it, oh, it was just an amazing day. Last week, we had testimonies where um, Bendre came to share with us about the double that he received and about his business flourishing. So this week, when I asked the Lord, okay, where are we going? This is what he said. He asked me, does your money know your voice? That's why I said I'll give you some of my green tea and honey if need be. But here we go. Okay, so does your money know your voice? Now, you cannot afford to be silent, especially with regards to your finances. You cannot afford to say, let's just see what happens. Let's just go with the flow. Because going with the flow is not an option for a child of God. You've seen the chosen that little fish is turning around, swimming upstream. That is what we chose when we chose God. So we cannot say, Ach, I'll see if my finances work out. I'll see if I have. You cannot just go with the flow. This was a bold statement that God made. He said, silence is making you an accomplice to the enemy. Mic drop, boom. When you don't say anything, you are choosing a side. There are three things, three things, <laughs> there are three things that cannot be reprieved. The first one is the arrow, one shot. Once it's shot, there it goes. I mean, it's out there, you can't stop it, you can't run after it, it's gone. The second thing is the word spoken in haste and emotion. Once it's said, it's out there. We had an awesome talk at a school this week where we spoke about your words that you speak. We had toothpaste. AJ was full of toothpaste all over. Um, but when it's out, it's out. You cannot get it back. And the third one is the missed opportunity. Now, your words are like arrows. And they are going to hit their target. You choose which target they're hitting. So, Psalm 64 verse 2 to 3 says... Hide me from the secret counsel and conspiracy of the ungodly, from the scheming of evildoers who wet their tongues like a sword, who aim venomous words like arrows, and they will be made to stumble, their own tongues turning against them. Eish. All who gaze upon them shall shake their heads and flee away. Now, I want to ask you, what does your quiver look like, where you put your where you, your mind, your thoughts, where you put your words in, where you form them, where you keep your arrows. What does it look like? What are the type of words that you are saying? What targets are your words hitting? When they're going out, what target is it hitting? Now, we need to skillfully, intentionally. I said to Isaac last night, I experienced the new season that Living Victory is going in, that especially with regards to finances. That's my little part that I that I bring for here, um, is intentional. I, I experience a season of intentional, intentionally seeking him, intentionally speaking, intentionally reaching out, intentionally doing. Going with the flow is not in our DNA. So we need to skillfully direct our words. Oh, this one was a hard one. No, well, well this is demand obedience from your financial situation. This is my challenge to you. When you look at your bank balance, when you look at your financial situation, do not be okay with what it is. Demand obedience. I like that, that on fire arrow that I see there. That is the, I declare this, this, and this. And we're gonna get to that now. I hope you're warming up your voice so long. I like it, I like it. Okay, your finances, this was the hard one. This is what the Lord said, so I just, I'm just the messenger. Your finances will reflect how much of your Christ-like identity you already understand. So the moment we understand that God is my Father, I am a son of the living God, I am loved and provided for, it is finished. The moment we truly understand that, things start changing. So I want to share a testimony. Um, of one of my friends. So they had an iPad 
that her husband decided he wanted to sell. She experienced in her heart that she shouldn't sell the iPad. And she shared it with him. She told him, I experienced that you should not go and sell this. He decided, listen, we're going to make plans. They're trying to um, get this stuff in order to migrate. So they're going to they're gonna sell this iPad. So he went and he sold the iPad. Well, kind of. But the guy, he, he made the EFT apparently in front of him. He drove all the way two hours to go and give the guy the iPad. He made the EFT in front of him, but it bounced. He never received the money. So they lost the money of the iPad. So now the guy has the iPad and they have nothing. And she decided. So I spoke to her and I'm like, this sucks. I trust that the Lord returns whatever is stolen to you. What, what. So she decided, she tells me this a couple of weeks after in conversation while we're chatting. She decided this iPad belongs to them. That guy stole the iPad. I mean, it's common sense. He stole it, didn't pay for it. So she said, that iPad is ours and it is going to find its way back to us. Listen to what happens. So on Facebook, it was on Marketplace that they tried to buy this. On Facebook, they get in contact with a couple of people that was done in by this particular guy. And they form a little group. On the group, there is one person that is an investigator and one girl that has a father that's an investigator. So they decide they are going Batman on this and they're going to catch this guy. And this, this stuff that he has stolen, they're going to get back. So not only did they got their iPad returned, everyone's stuff that that guy stole was returned. And that is using your words. Man, I love it. That's using your words and saying this arrow will hit its target and it is going to accomplish what I destined for it to do. Now, I want you to choose what to say to your money. Now, a couple of things that we should not say to our money is I don't have enough. We sometimes say that to our money, but our money hears. They hear our voice. I don't have enough. I cannot afford to what, 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 whatever. I am in ministry, so stuff is a little bit, uh, let's change that. So what to say to your money? I'm going to see how much I can fit in in three minutes, but here we go. So what to say to your money? My every need is multiplied according to God's riches. Now, this is where you come into play. There's the scripture. You can go look it on YouTube if you want to get the reference. But I want you to start saying this. So I hope that you are warmed up. So here we go. One, two, three. I like it. Okay, my finances overflow with abundance. There you go. Awesome. The work of my hand is blessed. I am debt free. There will always be enough. I have an abundance to bless others. I seek first God's kingdom and everything I need shall be given me. I have no lack. I receive the true riches from God and there is no sorrow in God's riches. I have welfare, peace, and hope, financial breakthroughs. I speak miraculous financial provision in unexpected ways in my life. God's favor is on my finances. No good thing will God withhold from me. I hope you can feel what's happening. I am excited to see what happens when your money hears your voice, when you speak the word of God. I want to invite you to sow into this ministry because we, we run after God's heart. It's such a privilege. I tell Isaac many times, it's such an honor to ask God, what does he want to do? And to just let him do it. We are two normal people that just follow his heart. And I thank you for everyone, each and everyone, that is sowing into this ministry. We honor you for that. And these words, we speak over your finances. And we're excited to see them. I want you to hold your envelope with your prayer requests on and with the seed that you want to sow for this morning. 
God, thank you. Thank you that your favor is on our finances and that no good thing will be withhold us. Thank you that miraculous financial provision will come in unexpected ways. And each and every one that is holding their envelope in this morning and listening to this message that sows in, into kingdom ministries and says, God, we trust you. I speak that they have welfare, peace, hope, and financial breakthroughs, that they receive true riches from God and that no sorrow will be added to it. I speak over their finances today that they have no lack, that they seek first God's kingdom and that everything they need will be given them, that they will always be enough and they will have abundance to bless others, that they are debt-free, that financial overflow is in their lives and that each and every one of their needs are met. I speak life and victory over their finances in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.